Hello friends. I've had a lot of fun lately playing card games, so I thought, hey, let's play some Monster Train. I played uh, maybe about four hours of this uh, just for fun and thought, man, I should do an episode on this because it is a really good example of a deck builder slash, I don't know, it's a variety of things. It's an interesting combination. If you've played uh, Slay the Spire or games like that, you have some sense. Um, now, we've got clans and things. I'm just going to pick what I was playing with last time. It was working for me. There's a bunch of, you know, like anything, different factions. You level everything up. It's the usual card stuff, but there's a lot of interesting little things this does. So these are going to be the random starting cards. We're going to get uh, an enhancement that for zero cost. So we've got our cost and what it does. You know, tip, again, typical card stuff. There's uh, just an interesting element, though, that's added into this. So... Uh, Let's get our goodies here. So as your train moves along, I guess, towards Hades or something, you get extra things. So in this one, we get to make a choice. Um, so I can have spikes on this thing, or I can deal 20 damage to the front enemy unit. I'm going to take spikes. Um, and then we can uh, get one of these things. So uh, stinging spells uh, get plus 10 magic power. Or when you play a spell in hand that costs less, that cost less are reduced to zero for the turn. Uh, okay. I, I don't understand. I'm not, well, whatever. I wasn't parsing that one very well, but it sounded interesting. Let's go with it. Here's going to be the first run. So it gives you, you know, it gives you a little flavor. It gives you some um, different things uh, each time. I'm just going to play basic here. So the, the concept is basically that you, we're on train, but it's, it's not just your usual train. It's, uh, this isn't like Snowpiercer or something. This is a train that's stacked. And uh, this you get this uh, last shard of the pyre. So if the enemies get to this and uh, basically damage it too much, the train stops and our run is done. That's over here. That's essentially the main thing. On each of these floors, we're able to play characters. So this is the part where I said it sort of reminded me of Slay the Spire. Except you've got uh, three floors that you're dealing with. And these enemies will move up the floors each round. And so we're going to basically set up a little engine here to try to um, defend them off and to prevent uh, catastrophe. Okay. Um, okay, and then we've got this much ember. This is what our, I guess, our uh, economy that we used to, to spend on these cards. Now this card doesn't have any attack. I'm going to add some attack to it because I feel like it could definitely use it. I'll put some on that character too. And... Hmm. I'm going to put one of these here because hopefully next round I'll get another card that I can use. So this thing uh, took in a bunch. Okay, so let's see what else we have. So we've got these basic train stewards. So we're going to put down a couple of those. And restore plus, uh, restore one health, gain one uh, ember, draw one next turn. That's interesting. Uh, I guess, why not... I, I, it'll give me a bump. Oh, and it, I thought it might give me a bump in health. Uh, some of the other cards do that. Okay, and then I'll put the other train steward, I guess, here. Oh, I don't have enough ember. Okay. Uh, never mind. I thought it would give me one for this round. So we took a bunch of damage. Thankfully, we've got cards that will do restoring and all of that. So, so far, so good. And so far, so easy, in fact. Um, there's not a lot going on in this one yet. Uh, all right, and that's that. This is a weird run so far. So here's all, we're already at the end boss for this level. Okay, let's add some more good stuff here. We'll do some healing. And I guess we'll put this just train steward on the high level here. And so now we're gonna go, they basically continue, you know, let me slow this down. I'm going to turn it down to normal. I did not even realize I had it still turned, cranked up. So uh, it, it goes back and forth, back and forth. And then if they defeat you on that level, they'll move up the, to the next level. They'll freeze the bottom car, they'll move up, and eventually they get up to the pyre. So now we're going to move on to the next stage. We get to uh, choose a card. Uh, we can restore 10 health, and then it'll do damage five times over. That's only cost of one, which is quite nice. Um... Descend a unit and restore 10 health. Oh, that's kind of handy. So if you've got something you need up top, I'm going to go with that one. I like that card. 
uh, ascend a unit. I, I've only used it once in all the runs. I've never really found it that useful. Apply armor for zero. I'll take it. Zero cost cards are nice. Uh, especially if they do something. Now uh, we got magic or steel. Mm, I think I'm going to go steel and uh, power up some of these cards because they're pretty weak. So let's give one of these a plus 25 health. Hmm. You know, I might give... See the imp? If I give it, it will go up to 26 health, which is really nice. And I could actually load it up as well with some other stuff. But you know what? I'm gonna, I think I'll go with one of the stewards. I'm going to make one of these characters a powerhouse. And uh, I've got enough left. I can make a multi-strike. So I can either make one of these a multi-strike and I'll try to level it up later. Or I could make one of these a multi-strike. This one now is, I sadly, I'm out of slots. I only got the two slots. Uh, I think I'll make one of these a multi-strike. Now it'd be nice to get something else good on that one. And we're out of stuff. Now we get to pick a card. So we get the 30 hit uh, 4 life card with a 10 hit 5 life card. Huh. The rage uh, slay apply rage 3 to friend the units. So... Um, after it gets rid of something, it applies Rage 3 to everybody that's on the floor. But then this one gives 30 damage. I think I'm going to go with the 30 damage. Lots of nice little decisions. None of them feel terrible. So, a little flavor again. Different bosses. I don't know. I haven't gotten into the, the whole lore of all of this yet. Now, I think I'm going to play again. I've, I've liked putting this, this thing down here. It's quite nice. Uh, I'm going to put my 30 hit here. I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to move the multi-strike dude up there. I'm going to put a healing on this one. So it'll get a regeneration at the end of the turn. Since it didn't need any healing right now. So it's at least it's nice that it's not a throwaway card. You actually get to use that. Uh, okay, that we'll put there. I'm going to apply armor plus five to the, my dude in the back. Now I'm gonna put my little my little weasley bub there and we'll apply this again. And this uh, will, uh, yeah, will attack that thing. I don't even know what that does. I always get rid of it immediately. I think if you just fail to plan, maybe that thing comes and snaps you. Uh, right, well, see now we have nothing in on deck, so this really wouldn't do me much good at the moment. So I might just wait. Um, apply 20 armor to the frontline unit. Yeah, we'll do that. That's that's quite nice now. And then I'm going to put this one up here. And that's that. Already final wave? Really? Whoa. Okay, so now this one I could you know apply that, but it, there's no damage that I could be doing. Which is unfortunate. Restore one health. Eh. Um... Okay, well, let's get rid of one of these little baddies in the back here, because they're a bit of a pain. You know what I might do? I might just put another one of these down. Um, and, well, whatever. I'll just plop that down. Take the extra... Oh, it doesn't do any forward stuff. Never mind. Well, that was useless. So, this thing now is going to just keep attacking forever. Until they basically knock each other to oblivion. So he's knocked my shield down. Now he's doing damage. So, there we go. That was an easy win. Kind of a... this. I feel like that thing is, is getting uh, overpowered, but I really like it. Deal 10 dam dam uh, damage to the enemy um, right off the bat. That's quite nice. Or apply 4 damage and spikes 4. Um, you know, I kind of like this one. I might take that one. I've got a lot of zero cost cards that are in the deck. Uh, and if we take this amp, deal five damage to enemy units, or apply rage four and armor five. That one's kind of nice. Um, hmm. I think I actually. I'll take that one. It's nice having those imps on every floor. So even if your floor is full, you, it seems like you can still add them. Now, we could go over that route, but we don't need any pyre, so I'm going to go this way. We'll gain an artifact. Uh, sting spells get plus 20 magic power, or X cost card cards get 
high plus three to their max value when played. So if we would taken that card with the X for damage, that would have been useful. I don't know. Let's let's take that. I have no idea if I have any that do anything there. We get one of these cards. So this thing's got a cost of four, which is quite large. It's very powerful though. Or we got the Steelworker, uh, gain armor five. It's got a 10 attack, 15 health. I kind of want to try to figure out how to get this thing into play. Uh, but at the same time, I do need more um, more characters in play now, as opposed to waiting. Because the bosses will get incrementally harder here. A cave of a thousand eyes awaken, uh, seem to awaken as you grow. Uh, from deep within, a voice says, relinquish your life for your wealth, and you may be rewarded. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's... Uh, let's yeah, 10% chance to gain an artifact. Ooh, we don't have a lot of money. We don't have a lot of money. Okay, let's do once. Uh, no, let's leave. <laughs> that was, that was enough. An artifact would have been nice, but uh, in fact, I can I even carry another one? Uh, I'm not even sure. Uh, all right, well, let's continue on. All right. Now this thing drops bombs as on each level. Uh, enemy units deal one damage to the front unit on death. Okay, so these have an explosive effect. So every time they die, they do damage. Or every time they return to the fire pit once they came. Okay, I'm going to go same deal. Let's put down our, uh, our, our big lungs. <laughs> and uh, let's put down our... Ooh, our monster uh, here. And we got apply 20 armor to the front. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and this creature is going to put down. And that's that. And this thing comes and drops random bomb devices on some of the levels. Yeah, see, they, they end up doing one damage to my armor every round. Unpleasant. But any excess uh, ability gets drawn onto the main boss, which is kind of nice. There we go. So that thing's going to go off on the middle floor. All right, so... Um, I think let's get rid of some of these critters here. Let everybody focus their attentions. And I'm going to move this baddie here, and that is that. So this thing will go off on this floor. It won't do any damage to anybody, I don't think. There we go. That was a lot of damage, so hopefully we can use our Fix Rupper card soon. That would be nice. Um, hmm. Okay, well, we're going to... I'm going to put the Damage Enhancer here. I don't have anything to directly attack this. I got the out oh, this uh, train steward here, multi strike here, my welder helper. I can only put here. Let's go with that. Ouch! You know that's good. Every, so they're knocking some few points off, shaving a few points. All right. That was interesting. I yeah thematically. I, uh, I, I couldn't really care less about the theme, honestly. Um, most... Yeah, it's, it's weird. <laughs> I don't play a lot of games that have uh, these kinds of themes. I, 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 whenever I do, I, the, the themes always feel uh, weird to me. They, they don't feel... Uh, oh, oh, wow, okay, so that had a cost of... Uh, that incurred a zero cost. Nice. Well, let's do some regenning. Um, yeah, it's the, the you know these kinds of themes leave me a little bit cold. I, it's more I, I like card games. I like deck builders in, in real life. Um, I enjoy the engines of things. Oh boy, we took a lot of damage there. Oh no, that's not good. He just blew up my lungs. Well, that's not good at all. Uh oh. Yeah, I was really banking on that thing. This is gonna hurt. We might lose this one. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's put some armor on this one here. Okay, that's good. Wow, that card is great. Now, yeah, we need to do some damage here. Let's regen here, and 
restore one health and then gain this thing has like no health this thing is toast oh my gosh okay that's good so they they all have their combined powers were quite nice that did took away a little bit of my stuff which i didn't like that see that they're not doing enough damage this is my issue we need this fella here has to survive yeah, he needs to survive because he we need this the power. But I wish I could give him Okay, there we go. Uh now he's got a little bit extra health. I'm gonna put a well the regen on him's not gonna do any good because he's probably not gonna get to use it, is he? Uh okay, I'll put a regen there. Okay, let's get rid of this character. And it put a little bit of damage on that and that's the end of it. Now we just hope for the best. I feel like this could be the end of the round though. 300 is a lot to come back from. <laughs> 290. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, what do I have here? Let's put another character in here. Okay. Well, I'll take that. All right. I'll rest. There we go. Again, not uh, doing a ton. And this one, you're at full health. Were you plus five? I don't even know what that's about. All right, and may the uh, the badness commence. They, yeah, okay. The multi strikes are good because they at least do a little bit of damage before they get wiped out. The low numbers, though, these numbers are terrible. Oh boy. So, uh, what do we got here? Uh, apply another... Okay, we'll apply armor 5 to that one. Definitely need to bring the, the strike up. Uh, and we'll apply one... Whatever. There we go. I, I feel like we're toast here. Very briefly. These are... I, I, you know what's uh, funny is I often... Uh, I'll often have sound off on games. No idea why, but I I haven't really listened to the sounds in this game. I played it purely in the abstract, and I didn't realize like, how dramatic the sound effects are. These two are doing a lot more damage than I anticipated. I actually thought we were would not make it that far. So that's not bad. 66, we actually, I think we're okay. Because that, yeah, it's doing 20 at a go. We definitely need to restore some of that heart power, though. There we go. Victory. Well, let's move on. Collect our spoils. Um, apply 10 hearts and spikes. That one's pretty good. Restore friendly units to full health. I'm going to go with that. That's a free cost. Look at that. 100 attack. and But it's a 10 to bring it in. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with that one this time. Now, I, uh, Ember, spent two play cards from your hand. I don't even understand. Uh, plus one Ember per turn? Is that what that means? And I don't need capacity. Oh, plus one capacity on each floor. Units can only be summoned on a floor if it has enough capacity. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do that. We got low-powered stuff, so capacity. And this time we'll take the pyre, so we'll go this route. The other side would allow us to uh, duplicate a card. And then we can remove some stuff if we wanted to like streamline our deck. I would really not... I don't think I really want to do that. I don't think we have... I, I In the past I generally will do that. Um, but we don't have enough stuff going on here. Alright, so... Um, I think I'm going to bump up the attack on... See, if I bump up the attack, that, that would be... Uh, 15 times 2, or you can go with one of these, which would be, uh, give it 15 total attack. Or I can make one of the imps more powerful. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, they, they are nice, but again, they're, they're kind of a stopgap. Huh. Or this demon, this horned warrior, I could, uh, give it both life and, uh, uh I think I'm gonna go with... Just another one of these stewards. Let's just get our general capacity up. So this is a 5 attack and a 10 heart. Uh, I'm going to give that to this thing here and actually give it some life so it, it, it lasts a bit. 
Uh, okay. Uh, we, our eternal stone. Upgrade a unit with endless. Uh, what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Um, endless. Uh, gain endless. No, that's still... Oh, endless. When this unit dies, return its card to the top of the draw pile. Oh, interesting. That's kind of nice, isn't it? That's a very useful thing to have. You know what? Now that we've been leveling this thing up... I mean, it could have more life, though. Right? That would be kind of nice. Maybe taking this one that has a higher life. And I can still upgrade this one for higher uh, attack in the future. Although, you know what? Ah, we'll just do this one. Alright, and I don't have enough to reroll at this point. Spent all of our caches. Okay. So we're at 94 over 110. Not full, but not the worst. So we've got these, uh, same thing. What do we want to do? Uh, we got a life of 60. It's got spikes 10 and revenge, or this has got spikes 20. Ho oh, ho! One attack per stack. Uh, that's pretty sweet. The draw one is kind of nice. It means when they hit me, I get a card in my hand that I get to have options on with next time. Which means y you have a really full hand of choices. I'm going to actually choose that one, I think. It seems in the past it's done, done me well. It gives you a lot of choices, especially when you have really interesting cards. Which, again, if I had been able to duplicate my cards, it would have been more useful. There's always this weird trade-off. Okay, so this thing, we'll put it right down here in the basic floor. Um... All right, let's get rid of that baddie and let's take some so armor of 28 that thing's got a lot of armor okay it's already going up <laughs> already going up to the next floor problematic okay so uh let's see i don't have a lot of stuff here okay so i'm gonna put and I'm going to put this thing, this imp here, because he's going to give armor of 20 to the front unit. Now, I'm going to apply armor of... Uh, we're going to apply spikes here. And armor of 5 onto this unit. And that's that. Oh, let's see how this goes. Yeah, see, they're, they're doing a pile of damage. Now, unfortunately, those things are going to move up uh, another level. So, already... Okay, so we had two... You know, we had extra cards to work with, which is really nice. So, let's see here. We've got this 15 and 8, or 15 and 33 with health. I'm going to take that uh, that one and bring it here. Multi-strike 5 by 2. And that one. And sharpen apply 4 attack. And spikes. Um, so which who wants that? You know what? I might actually put it on the basic. Oh, I don't have enough, uh, unfortunately, to play that. Oops, me not paying attention. But I was just thinking about the total. There we go. That was enough total. Yeah, there's decent amount of attack. Okay. So now I'm going to apply the welder down here. Because uh, we need that armor. Oh, this is good. Okay, so I can apply three attack. And the. We're going to uh, do that, which did a pile of damage to the front unit. Um, how are these doing? Well, they're still at full health. This one has already taken damage, though. Um, okay, we'll bring them to full health. And I can now... Uh, I don't think I have the... Oh, okay, there's not a room on this floor to bring the imp in. Oh, the imp would come in here, though. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, I like that. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, now the, the the floor does a substantial amount of work. Those imps, if they were a little bit more powerful, they would actually be even more useful. And they got rid of that um, 
the boss on the bottom layer there, which is quite nice. Okay, now I can apply armor 5. Um, hmm, who do we want to give armor 5 to, though? Do we want to give it to one? I feel like we need it on these lower cards because they're going to um, take more damage in the long run. Okay, I want to increase the attack here. And we'll do a regen. Okay, we'll do an attack there. Okay, and then that is that. I know that this whole group, they've got a lot of attack going on there, so I wasn't terribly worried about it. Okay, now we're going to hit the final wave. So this, this critter here, uh, 500 health, 12 attack. Alright. Now, how do we want to play this one? I think we're going to go armor... Uh, we're going to go armor 5 on that front unit. I'm going to add a, more attack to it. I'm just going to beef that thing up. Get rid of these little bosses here. And uh, restore the health. And then press play. <laughs> Hope for the best. So I think what the, the satisfying part um, of the deck builder is you uh, you slowly uh, you know piece this engine together that does amazing things and when it works it works and when it doesn't you go oh boy I really messed up I made some bad decisions I've definitely had some runs here where I've gone oh I did not make good choices but it takes all experience to figure out how the little puzzle pieces go together and I think. This game does a great job of enabling you to do that without, uh, oh, there we go. They've almost beat the boss already, so this is good. This is not a problem. This one is toast. Um, I mean, it's this is almost ridiculous. Okay, let's put that there. Um, what do we have? Okay, so I guess we'll do some damage. I mean, they've got like nothing left. I can't even bring in any other bo baddies. Uh, whatever. And restore friendly units to full health. Um, I just, you know, just kind of using up some stuff. I don't even have any attack. That's what's like utterly bonkers. Oh, I guess, oh, I could have done sharpen. Oh, I, yeah, I never used that card in the past, so it didn't even occur to me. So there we go. That was quite easy. Didn't even have to go through the whole rigmarole. Okay, now we're, we got good choices. Uh, we can apply Rooted to an enemy, which Rooted is really nice because it, it prevents an enemy from moving up a floor. Uh, I, I quite like Rooted, and I did use Rooted a lot in one of my better runs. Consume and apply Rage 3. Piercing, deal 5 damage, apply Armor 20. That's nice. Uh, deal 50 damage to the front enemy unit. Attuned Sacrifice Imp. So you just play this once, I guess? And... Uh, Oh, you gotta get rid of a friendly unit. Oh, I don't think so. I'm gonna take the armor 20. I'm not a big fan of the expendable units. Okay, so we could use the stuff on this side. I think it'd be nice to get the artifact, but... 20 health, although we're going to end up getting more health soon anyway. And I don't want to get rid of cards. You know what? Let's go this way. We're gonna chance it. Merchant costs are reduced by 25%. Whoa. When a card is, con is consumed is played, restore 5 pyre. Oh. Oh my gosh. These are really good. I'm going to go with the 25% lowered cost. Let's go to the merchant. Okay. So a 10 attack. Let's upgrade somebody with a 10 attack. I think this train steward here might use that one. Or we can make this one 15 times 2. That makes that very powerful. Or this thing becomes a 20 attack. <laughs> I I don't even know. It's nice having these powerful units uh, that have big attacks because they can sustain the damage that we throw at them. Oh uh, boy. I don't even know. I think I might... Yeah, I think I might do one of these Rage 4... I like the low costs on these things are, are really good. I'm going to go with this one here. That's a very useful card. Upgrade a unit with spikes. Sure. Let's do... Uh, what do we want? 
what do we have out front here? Hmm. None of these, you know, I don't use spikes a ton, but, uh, let's see if I end up with, well, we'll give one of the trains toward spikes. They often do up front line up at the top. Upgrade a unit with multi-strike, it can't do it. Um, we could re-roll, but I'm not going to have enough to do anything with that anyway. And let's check out here. Concealed cards. So this is a decent run so far. Ember deposits, frozen in place, collect around openings of the ground, a byproduct of the pyre. So uh, we can we could take the protrusion, removing some ember deposits, uh, granting you something later on. So we could take the protrusion, get abandoned, stave, gain vengeful to shard, remove the rubble, get three calcified ember now, get upgraded versions later. So purge, uh, once played, this card is removed from your deck for the rest of the run. Um, if I remember, it like decimates a row, <laughs> like it's really like thermonuclear, if I remember correct. Uh, or this, it's a plus one ember per turn for every two blight cards in your deck, which is nice. Uh, eventually you end up with like negative cards, like curses in your deck. Uh, Vengeful Shard Reserve, your pyre takes one damage. I think I'm going to take the purge. Okay. And away we go. Okay, on we move to the next level. Now at some point here, we do get uh, a little bit of our pyre restored. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember what floor that is. It might be after this one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play the same thing. I've got a nice combo going here. Now I'm going to go with more powerful and better uh, life on this one. And I'm going to put this baddie here. And we're going to get rid of that secondary enemy. And there we go. See, this thing has no attack, so it's reliant on the, the 20 attack from the other one. <laughs> okay, apply 20. Uh, there we go. Now we can start, like, building this thing. So... Okay, I'm going to need to... Hmm. I... Oh, boy. I don't have a lot to work with here. Okay, I'm going to go... Get rid of that little dude. This guy's got 55. Uh, I've got 35, 14. I'm going to put that there. Oh, boy. And I've got these tw armor 20 to the front unit. Um, I'm going to put that in here. And then I'm going to apply rooted. So that redu I've got that to keep this one here. Oh, I did one of three. Oops. Okay, well, that's that. I don't even know what that thing does. It's going to cause me grief later, I'm sure. Oh, look at that. That We almost took it out. Oh, boy. Well, this floor is going to get busy. Okay. So, uh, I don't want to play that. I think it nukes everything on the floor. It It's, like, kind of horrifying. Okay, so we can restore up to 10 health. That'll do a pile of damage. Um, now we're going to apply some attack. And... Uh, okay, I'm going to put this steward back here, because it doesn't have any armor. Although, yeah, I'll put that back there, and then I'm going to put... Uh, armor 5, let's put an armor of... Yeah, I'm going to add the armor on the big uh, monster there. I'm going to put someone up there. Okay, okay, there's a, a good amount of damage happening. Now, they're going to move up, unfortunately. See, the, the things get t much tougher, much quicker. Like, it just suddenly woomph, and you've got a whole pile of bad. Uh, right. So, I've got the... This one here was uh, Spikes 4, which is good. And deal 5 damage to enemy units, which is good. And, uh... 
Huh. Restore one health and we gain a draw plus one next turn. You know, the two damage that I'm going to save on this may as well. And then uh, restore friendly units to full health. And then I'm going to... Uh, now I will apply two damage there, and that is the end of this. Yeah, we're only 43. That means we're going to definitely take some pyre damage. Oh, wow. Okay. This is... Uh, Unfortunately, we're down to 84. Now, uh, Big Batty up at the top here. Has, we're, we're at 3 health. This thing is really, really weak. Um, I do feel like... See, if I wish I could add that there. Uh, I, do, I can't add this here now. I think. Let's just see. Uh, piercing. Deal 5 damage and apply armor 20. Oh boy, okay. You know what? I'm going to apply that on this. Oh. Ooh. Whatever I just did. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put another character down. I, I don't know what I just did. I just obliterated that character. Okay, with this one, I'm going to put an attack. Let's... And... There, yeah, there's, it's hard because everybody is going to get just nuked here. Okay, that's that. So this character is down to 20. I may end up having to use an obliteration. In fact, I probably should have used it on one of the floors. This top floor may end up getting some obliteration though because I'm down to 77. They are way too high. Okay. So I think I'm going to do... Restore, and then oh, this is bad. Uh, I'm gonna put some armor up here. Okay, friendly units are at full health up here, which is good. And I could use more than just some like regen. I don't feel good about this. Is I think we're we might not be in a good place here. I don't know how much damage they can really take off of this thing. They're, they're peeling about 30, but then he's doing healing. Oh boy. Yeah, he, the amount of healing this thing is doing is like brutal. Now it's like 600. Oh gosh. Like 570, 560. 560 as it moves up to the next floor. That's not good. Yeah, we took a lot of pyre damage. Now, uh, like if I were to play this, I'm curious if it would obliterate. Like we've got a lot of damage, but look, this thing is doing eight attack. It's we got 18. It's gonna do three. We'll get it down a little bit, but it's not that much. Uh, okay, and I'm gonna apply all of my stuff that I can. So we did. I guess what was it 76 damage? This isn't going to work, but it'll get us, I think, a draw next turn. And that's that. So that is the end of that. Okay, and it moves up to the next floor here. Wow, same deal. I mean, if I were to put this thing to play, I <laughs> I do not even know. Okay, um... I'm going to put this thing into play is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put armor... Uh, five on the first unit. Apply some spikes. Restore some health. And, I don't know, whatever. And that's the end of that. We'll see how much they do. If they can't do, like, 300 damage, then we're toast. Yeah, no. <laughs> so this will be the end of this run. There's no way we'll sustain 300 damage on this. Although, to be fair, it's not doing a ton of damage, but we're only returning 30 for 8. We got like 3. It's close. We did quite well. And that's the end of that. Wow. So it, you think back and you're like, what could I have tweaked 
you know, the end bosses tend to be the same. So we could figure out how to tweak that. Um, I, yeah, I had a bad feeling as we were kind of getting into that and you're getting waves that were way overpowered. So that jump that happened was, was pretty steep. <laughs> and that is a run of Monster Train. Um, you can see why I was playing on super high speed because you just kind of get rid of the animations. But it's a really well done uh, deck builder. I I really like the mechanics of it. I like the idea of, you know, you're playing multiple tiers at once and you're thinking ahead. And I like that sense of um, t uh, the temporal sense that I'm thinking of the future. I'm thinking of a, an attack that hasn't happened that's going to happen. And what I'm doing now is going to affect two and three turns down the road. And it gets you thinking in a, in a different way. So this, it's not just the deck builder in terms of um, you know, honing and refining and building a deck, but uh, using it in a much different way, I think, than I'm used to with deck builders. At any rate, I yeah, I really like this game and uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. We will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.